Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. As you can see today, I'm wearing the green. Uh, the main reason is March 17, 2016, also known as St. Patrick's Day. Our discussion today is going to be on imprisonment. Ezra 7.26, anyone refusing to obey the law of your God and the law of the king shall be punished immediately by death, banishment, confiscation of goods, or imprisonment. Acts 23.29, I soon discovered it was something about their Jewish beliefs, certainly not worthy of imprisonment or death. Acts 26.31, as they talked it over afterwards, they agreed this man hasn't done anything worthy of death or imprisonment. Philippians 1.14, and because of my imprisonment, many of the Christians were, seemed to have lost their fear of change. Somehow, my patience has encouraged them, and they have become more and more bold, telling others of Christ. Sometimes we imprison ourselves with foolishness and things that we have of value here on earth, these have no value in heaven. If we continue to follow evil ways, this angers God. All good is t taken away, and we will be imprisoned forever. Paul was in prison many times, and he really only shared the gospel of Jesus Christ. This was after his conversion. Through Jesus Christ, our chains are broken, and we are no longer imprisoned. So, everyone, I'm praying that you go ahead and don't become a prisoner of your own doing. I want you to think about that today. St. Patrick's Day, and enjoy it. Don't uh, do evil things, and have a blessed day. God bless.